Hey everyone, welcome to another Corona quick tip and today we're gonna quickly look at a new small nice feature in Corona 1.5 which is a new dawn mapping option. So our scene here is just a car on a plane and it's lit by an HDR map and as you can see if I move around you can see the car sort of floating on top of the HDR map. So most of the time when you're, you are entering cars with an HDRI, you usually need also some backplate. In Corona 1.5, if you use a Corona bitmap, there's a new environment mode, which is Dome. Once you enable it, you may have uh, slightly weird results. So just scroll down and there are some options for the Dome mode. Uh, one of the options is XYZ coordinates for the center of dome. Uh, for example, when you have your asset somewhere else in the scene and you cannot afford to move it. But the most important parameters are the radius and the camera height. So in this case, let's say let's set radius to something really high, like 2000 meters. And the most important parameter probably is the camera height. Now, um, if you know how high was your camera sensor or your light probe when you were capturing an HDR map, which you're using, then you should uh, input this number here. But if you do not know, then you can just eyeball it. So you can see as I change this parameter, you can see the distortion of the map changes. And the way you should eyeball it is you should always try to match the structure on the bottom of, of the HDR map uh, to be the matching size with the objects in your scene. So we can see there's like little narrow narrow road here, but uh, it should be about as wide so that at least two cars fit in there at the same time. So let's keep it increasing a bit until we get something reasonable like this. Yeah, this looks like right size. And now we can see the cards, uh, the bottom of the HDR map sort of sticks to the car and sticks to the surface. Uh, it's basically flattened sphere, like hemisphere with flattened bottom. Of course, you can see it's not a magic wand and it comes with its drawbacks. Obviously, unless the horizon line is perfectly in the center of the hemisphere, you will always have some sort of distortion. This will this will work uh, perfectly, especially for scenes where there's like, for example, really dist uh, really flat desert with some distant horizon. But in such cases, it will still work, but only for a low angled shots where you can hide most of the distortion, like for example, this one. So now we can find a nice angle now that our car sits nicely in our scene like this is the nice low angle and we can easily render this and it will look as if the car was indeed standing right in the scene so this is this is it for the for this quick tip i hope you found it useful and i'll see you next time goodbye